Welcome back everyone to another Kerbal Space Program video. And today's Kerbal Space Program video, we're doing something kind of different. Um, as you know, or as you probably know, uh, tomorrow is Halloween, because uh, at the time of recording this, it's Friday. But uh, yeah, tomorrow is Halloween, um, and I wanted to do something kind of different, you know, kind of like a special mission, just to be like, you know, thanks for watching my videos, because uh, I really appreciate it, and we're actually getting uh, some, we're getting more and more views with each video that we get. I think the video I uploaded last week is already at like 30-something views, which is pretty good for one week. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and do something like this for our holidays or some or stuff to, uh, you know, just just for fun. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I had the idea to do this actually uh, Thursday night, and I was like, you know what? Why don't I do something for Halloween? And I came up with the idea. I was like, you know what? Why don't I just do like a jack o' lantern or something? And uh, you can see I've actually titled it the Jack o' Lander because we like puns. Everyone likes puns, actually. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, and then, so, uh, today, which is Friday, I, I had to, like, record it, or build it, record it, fly it, edit it, and voiceover all in one day, and get it ready to upload. So, yeah, kind of, uh, you know, kind of, everything was, like, going fast, I was rushing everything a little bit, but all in all, I think, uh, I'm very satisfied with how the mission panned out, um, overall. Um, but yeah, and, uh, you know, kind of skipping backwards a little bit. I hope you guys liked that intro. I spent quite a bit of time <laughs> um, actually making that and syncing all the words up. I thought it was pretty funny and uh, kind of cool. Um, let me know what you thought of it. Um, but yeah, like always, uh, you know, I'm just going to interject this at random points in every video. But if you guys like this video, if you or if you go on to like it... Um, hit the like button and if you like what I've been doing so far hit subscribe you know we're getting better getting we're getting uh, a little higher up and uh, yeah so like I mentioned this is kind of like a special thing there's gonna be two KSP videos so don't worry we're still gonna get one on Sunday and I actually recorded the one on Sunday and edited and like finished everything I actually finished that before I did this so uh, you know, kind of cool. You won't, you won't actually see this, like, I mean, I don't even know how they would correspond with each other, but you won't actually see, like, anything to do with this mission in the previous one, because this is happening afterwards, uh, which is a little bit confusing, but there you go. You've been, now you understand why things be the way they are in this save file. I don't know, some words, sometimes I'm not very good at them, but, you know, continuing with the fail. Um, after we finished the lander, everything was pretty standard. Um, and you might notice later in the video, you'll see that the, uh, lander that I ended up using was actually not the, the, was not what you saw in the build. That's because, um, I actually went back and edited it a little bit because, uh, I put on some solar panels and some RCS thrusters, um, because I felt that, you know, we probably need the electric charge and we probably need the control from the RCS. Spoiler alert, we actually did need it. Um, but anyway, oh my gosh, so much has happened. Uh, we launched, uh, we didn't really get equatorial. I don't even know what was happening. Like, it was just, the craft was just rotating so much. And I was like trying to control it, but, you know, I couldn't control it uh, for some reason. This was a pretty unbalanced for some reason. I mean, I don't know why, but it was unbalanced. But we got it to work, so, you know, um, we had that mainsail engine and those four thumpers in the first stage, and now we are, uh, have the skipper engine in the second stage. And then after the skipper, we have that poodle, and then for the lander, we have a terrier engine, which is going to help let, help it land on the mud and help it come back to Kerbin. Um, one thing that was actually very surprising to me, um, and I completely forgot to, do, to put heat shields on this, and I, I landed on the mud and I was like, oh no, I forgot to put heat shields, what's gonna happen? Like, is it gonna burn up or something? I'm pretty sure we entered Kerbin's atmosphere at like, like, like 2,800 meters per second. We did not even get one of those like little bars that, um, that shows you that, um, like, you know, something is overheating. That was pretty great, you know, if, if you don't have heat shields and you have these uh, structural panels, 
they only come with the DLC, with the Breaking Ground DLC. But if you have them, use you can use them as heat shields apparently because they work uh, phenomenally. But yep, a lot has happened again. I keep going on tangents that aren't really relevant. But um, you know, we planned our mun uh, trajectory, and now we're coming into the mun, and we're gonna plan to land on it. Um, you know, just doing our orbital burn to get us into orbit. And then we can just plan our maneuver to help us get a rough idea on how to land and where we want to land. Um, we're actually pretty low for like, I don't know, it just felt very low. I'm pretty sure I got like a 20 kilometer orbit, but it feels so low when I was orbiting around it for some reason. I don't know, maybe that was just me. But anyway, I digress. Here we're just uh, landing. There goes that poodle engine, as you saw. And now we're using the terrier to slow us down the rest of the way. And you know, I have to admit, this didn't look that bad. I mean, obviously we couldn't color those uh, panels orange, which probably would have made it look way more like a pumpkin. Um, but you know, KSP2 coming next year, we'll be able to color our crafts. Uh, so that's good. Maybe I'll do another one. I'll, I will. I'll probably do something next year uh, as well for Halloween, something similar to this. But anyway, we landed, um, and now we're getting our. I have to actually transfer the Kerbal because I put two um, capsules in there. Probably I, I don't even know why I did that. I I, I really don't know. We probably could have had a lot more Delta V if we just didn't put one of them in there. But, you know, and, uh, oh, uh, look at the flag real quick. I actually designed a quick flag for, uh, this mission, and you can't really read it, but it's, it's meant to say, Happy Halloween 2020, um, <laughs> or no, KSP Halloween 2020, I don't know, I forget what it says, even though I made it today, I completely forgot what it says, but, uh, yep, now we're ascending from the mine and fixing our orbit as one will do when ascending from a celestial body. Um, and then expanding our orbit like so, and then warping around to the maneuver. Um, yeah. Just burning for the orbit. And then now we're going back to carbon. I've, I've exhausted a lot of my topics very quickly. Um, I, I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, you know, as always, if you guys have any suggestions for any, like, missions or anything, just leave them in the comments. Um, I'll try and get to them. Um, and actually, this, this week's mission, well, I can't believe to say this, ne Sunday's mission, let's say that, Sunday's mission actually came to us from a subscriber request. Um, and you'll see I feature that comment in the video. And don't worry, I take credit for it. Um, or no, I don't take credit for it. I give them credit for it. Um, but yeah, you'll just have to wait until Sunday to find out what that video is about. Ooh, suspense. I'm making you guys wait. I'm not just gonna tell you. <laughs> Think it's that easy, huh? No. In all seriousness, though. It, all seriousness, though. Um, yeah, this this Sunday's uh, mission is uh, from a subscriber. That's pretty much the whole point I was trying to get across. But. We're entering Kerbin, and there you saw before that uh, we didn't actually really need the heat shield, any heat shields. We just used these um, panels, and I was actually in the in the Kerbal, uh, in the vehicle assembly building. I was like, man, do I have too many parachutes on here? Is it like gonna take forever to land? But actually, this was like the perfect amount. We ended up landing at five meters per second um, for that landing. Yeah, we ended up doing uh, 5 meters per second, which was really good. Um, but yeah, we can just take the Kerbal out on EVA now. You know, going over to the... Uh, you know, just gonna take her outside the craft and walk her in front of it. Um, you know, like I was saying, I exhausted all my topics. Not really much more to talk about. But that was uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this like special thing, you know, that I thought I would do for Halloween. It was it was pretty fun. 
Uh, I really enjoyed this mission. Like I was saying, it really let me be creative with the design of the pumpkin. But if you enjoyed, leave a like down below. And uh, if you have not already, and you're watching my videos and you like them, go ahead and uh, subscribe. It's it's uh, free of charge. It's a big red button. And you, you will see it if you scroll down or swipe down, depending if you're on mobile or not. I don't know where I'm going with this. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.